Hello everybody, welcome back to Adventures in Rod Building. Uh, this video is going to be for the flag weave that I did on this recent project. Uh, this is the Fallen Outdoors uh, build that I'm doing. Um, and this one here I'm going to uh, show the weave itself, um, how I lay that out, and then we'll have the instructions on how I, how I did it. Um, it's not really a full weave because you're not weaving the individual threads together. Um, it's it's kind of, I don't know what exactly what to call it, but I'm calling it a weave just, just because for, don't know what else it's considered. All right, um, thanks for watching. See how it goes. All right, so for this, I used several different threads um, for each of the red and white um, bars of the flag. I used five threads each. And for the, um, for the stars, I used, I wanna say it was 25 threads for our, the blue twist. And then for um, at the top of the, the flag, I had a single um, silver thread. At the bottom, I had the same silver thread and on the left and the right. Uh, on the top, I also added 15 black threads to help hold down the, uh, the twist. And on the bottom, I, I did five. Uh, that's mainly just to help hide the, hide the threads um, because it, it, the weave doesn't hold it fully. I don't know if that was because I didn't apply it tight enough, but that seemed to work after that. Uh, and then in order for that to happen, I put the color preserver on there so it wouldn't come loose when I would tie off the, the wrap itself. All right, so I learned a couple of different things when uh, doing this uh, flag weave here. Um, one thing I found out was that doing a weave is actually quite difficult. Um, I couldn't imagine with a, a real weave where I'm doing single threads over back and forth. Um, I know it's a long process, but yeah, this is an indicator. It's definitely more difficult than I thought. Um, another thing is that uh, I was using a piece of cardboard for a, uh, a loom. Um, definitely would suggest using a, a real loom to do this because this, um, this is interesting. Um, another thing I found out was that I gotta pack the threads tighter uh, when doing the weave. I was, uh, I, re I redid it a couple different times. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but yeah, I, it took me a little bit to, to get it down. Um, and then another thing that I figured out was that I gotta um, do better with a uh, color preserver. Uh, sometimes it doesn't penetrate the threads good enough, so it doesn't, you know, get a good, a good hold on the, on the threads and the, the colors tend to get funky. So, all right, so here, here I'm starting the, the wrap. Um, just wrap the black thread as I go along get it tightened um, and then when I first start the the, uh, the weave I add the, the silver thread and then I um, tuck it under the black and then I continue a little bit further and then I take the red and white and uh, fold it back. The bulk of these uh, of the steps here I'm going to fast forward
So here at the end of the, the flag, I add the other silver thread for the right hand side of the flag. And then I finish off the, the um, with the black to be the tie off of the, of the wrap itself. So um, after that, then you put color preserver on the whole thing and then the wrap is essentially done itself. Um, so that's it for, for this part. So that's it for this this video um this will be part one of two i guess uh, so the second part i'll be do i'll be doing the um taking the the threads off and tying off the uh, the wrap itself uh this here was was the first part um like i said it was it was quite difficult and i learned some things so hopefully you guys learn from my uh from my mistakes and get to uh, do better so all right, but um, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like.